All right, welcome everyone to The Long Dark. Um, I'm starting a new series today for my new channel, um, The Red Cove. Um, and what I wanna do in The Long Dark is um, kinda take on some of the challenges that the game offers. There's, I think, seven or eight different, uh, different options available to the player. Um, you can kinda see the list here on the left. And today I wanna start with um, The Hunted Part One. Um, and uh, so we'll go ahead and kick that off and then basically what I'd like to do um, you know is kind of just work my way through the overall list so we'll start there the hunted part one I feel like that's probably a good one to uh, to start with um, so we'll go ahead and just jump jump right in and uh, go ahead and get started waiting for it to load and I guess while we wait um, I just want to take a second to, to say thank you for uh, being here thanks for thanks for coming to the video um, I hope you enjoy what you see and and if you do definitely hit the like and subscribe button um, I'm trying to get this thing off the ground so any any little bit uh, definitely helps me um, in these first few days um, of the channel so with that being said again thanks for being here and let's go ahead and and get things moving Just waiting for this guy. <laughs> just waiting for this guy to finish up his. Uh, just, just do what you got to do, man. And uh, once oh, yeah. he's on his way, we'll be on our I'll way. Okay. All right. So we're gonna give her a chance to stand up here. We'll kind of take stock of what's going on. Damn it! They're bleeding all over the place. Yeah, I know you are. Um, let's just go ahead and run inside really quick. There's some other things out here that I'd possibly like to grab, but let's at least get inside and uh, and uh, kind of take stock of my injuries and okay. get ourselves treated and then time. see what we need to do from there. Maybe loot this room first. Um, okay, so blood loss, obviously bitten by a bear, and then uh, we've got the infe infection risk as well. So pretty uh, straightforward. Looks like I do have um, the supplies I need to heal myself for both. So let's jump over to the first aid menu. We'll use this bandage on the blood loss. Blood loss is really kind of the key thing that we need to get healed um, right off just because that will kill us the fastest. And then of course the infection risk. Um, since we've got the supplies to, to heal it we'll obviously go ahead and do that but uh if we didn't we'd have a little bit longer um to get that done and then i'm still in pretty bad shape um because i'm so tired so i think we'll go ahead and actually just sleep for a little while um and kind of get just a little bit of condition um in order to kind of do some looting and, and looking around and before we kind of make that next next push out of out of this area um, so I've got two bed rolls. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the worst of the two for now. Um, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and mm, we'll sleep for three hours. Get some strength back. At least get get off of, uh, you know, being right, right next to death. Um, okay. So that should give us a little juice to do what we need to do. Um, so obviously there's a hatchet here. I'll take that could come in handy a flare possibly come in handy and then um, I'll just search this whole room um, and see what we get so the dress shirt that uh, normally wouldn't spend too much time with on the dress shirt but since we don't have any other clothing right now it was all pretty much ruined this by the bear uh, we'll go ahead and put it on spray paint I don't really think I need the spray paint uh, I'll take the matches for sure I did see this cloth sitting over here. That might be useful. Um, the book books are great, uh, great fire starters. Um, sadly enough, but <laughs> so we'll take that. Um, some pur purification tablets. Those might come in handy. We need to make some water. 
Mm. Some milk. Looked like it was in pretty rough shape, but we'll take it. Okay, I'm just kind of looting everything that there is to take. Um, again, I'm going to skip that spray paint that's there on the shelf. I just don't think I really have a use for it in this challenge. Um, if you know otherwise, definitely let me know, but... Okay. So, this is the distress pistol. It's a flare gun, basically. Um, this is pretty crucial to this challenge. Because um, it really, I think, it's going to be my only deterrent to the bear. I've done this challenge once, be once before and, uh, you know, didn't come across any firearms of any kind. So, I didn't find a revolver, didn't find a rifle. Um, so, I'm, I just kind of have the feeling that uh, Hinterland left those out of this challenge just to uh, you know make sure it's challenging basically I can't just go kill the bear um, not that I'm not that I think I could anyway even if I happen to find one um, okay I think I searched everything down here I did pick up that firewood um, and the reason I want to get the firewood is just basically because um, you know I, with the bear being outside, I don't know that I'm going to really have the time to stop and collect firewood. So anything I can find loose like that um, is to my advantage, I feel like. Everybody I don't have to spend the time and, and risk being outdoors to collect it. So I'll go ahead and pick everything I can up. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Our clothing situation is pretty awful. Um, We've got a vest, a uh, dress shirt, and some uh, thermal underwear. Uh, no shoes, no gloves, no coat, no hat. Um, so we're definitely kind of at a big disadvantage there. Um, I guess also there is some stump remover over here um, used to, to reload um, ammunition. Not going to make it that far in this challenge. Um, pretty much just want to, you know get on with the objectives and then uh, we'll call it good. So I'm going to leave the stump remover basically. I don't don't think I'll need it. Um, let's take a look at what else we got. Our food situation. Um, we're probably good for a day or so. Um, everything I have or a, a good portion of what I have is not in great shape. The big, big piece that I'm missing there I guess really is the water. Um, I don't have really the water to make it very long. So, yeah, with that in mind, I, I think I may try and move out today. Um, just because I'm already so uh, in such low condition that I really can't afford to like go thirsty. So, why don't I do this? I'm going to go ahead and sleep a little longer, try to get a little more fatigue um, taken care of, and then we'll um, kind of make the next move. Um, and I, there's really not much I can do about the clothes. I'm going to be cold when I go outside, so um, I'm going to leave this bedroll here because I've got one on me. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and, and see if we can make a move. And I'm on Skeeter's Ridge right now, which basically, um, I think there's a couple of different ways to, to actually get to it. You can kind of climb up a climbing rope on one side and then... Uh, you know, kind of follow the hills and, and stuff um, if you've got the time to travel. I'm going to basically just try and scale down the side of it for a couple reasons. Um, kind of like I mentioned, I really don't have the clothing to be outdoors for long, so I kind of need to move as quickly as possible. And then I'm hoping that, you know, if the bear were out here, then that gives me a quick escape route um, rather than, you know, having to make my way over to any kind of climbing rope or, um, you know, path to get down. I can just kind of get away quickly. So I'm going to pick all that up. Just keeping an eye out for the bear. I don't see him anywhere. The pry bar will take it. Definitely take that. Okay, there he is, back between those trees, kind of center of the screen. Looks like he's going the other direction, but that could change in a hurry, so... I'm going to keep the same plan. Honestly, I've probably been standing here too long talking because I'm getting cold fast. So let's go ahead and move on. And 
and uh, it's a really clear day. You can see the farmstead over there. That's basically where I want to get um, before he catches up to me. So let's see if we can get down this uh, rock wall without really hurting ourselves. Um, kind of cheat the system a little bit here, but I think we almost have to do it um, to get where we need to be. So, so far so good. I haven't hurt myself at all. I don't know that I really picked the best route to come down the side of this, but I think we're good. Okay, I, think, I really think we're good now. Okay, yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, so I can sprint. Um, I kind of try and run walk my whole way there just because of the, the cold and obviously the, the less time I spend outside the better uh, just with the bear grab that piece of wood right here don't see anything else right away it's worth stopping for I grab these couple guys here bark for some tinder Okay, I really need to keep focused on the task at hand, so I don't get too cold. Normally, uh, being cold for a little while wouldn't be such a big deal, but my condition's so low that I don't really want to push it. And I, I mean, obviously he was... Did I say I hate being cold? Yeah. Because I really do. Um, he was quite a ways away when I came down the wall, but I feel like the music is usually a cue that he's close, but... Maybe that's just in my imagination, I don't know. Um, and so this water line that I'm following, um, it actually runs right behind that, uh, that homestead that we saw at the top of the cliff. Um, so if I follow it, it should pretty well take me right there. So that's what my plan is anyway. Okay, and I'm, yep, getting cold. Too cold. Think. So now is when I really kind of need to start to worry. I think I've got condition to make it a little while outside, but not not long at all, really, in the grand scheme of things. So let's get moving. Uh, I have these couple stones here. Um, they may come in use later. And where are we? Okay, so we're on the farm grounds for sure, so it should be right. Yep, there it is. Just keeping an eye out for wolves as well. I know our, Snow, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. our big concern is the bear, but that wolf could easily come finish us off too. So I don't see any at this point, so I'm just going to make a break for the house, make sure we get indoors, um, get warmed up. Probably, uh, well, yeah, definitely stay the night here. Hopefully there's some good loot here. Uh, there should be some water. Hopefully some food and, and uh, any really anything in terms of clothing at this point because I pretty much don't have anything. I don't have shoes or gloves or anything. Okay, so am I? It's not, I don't even have enough clothing right now to warm me up. Uh, inside, so see what I can find up here, and hopefully that'll change. Driving gloves, not the best gloves in the game, but um, only thing I've got right now. I was hoping that would take me over the line to warm me up inside, but it <laughs> actually got colder. It's kind of funny. Okay, some boots. Well, this stuff will come in handy. In decent condition. That'll hopefully take me over the... Nope, need one more degree. Hopefully I'll find some stuff in here. Soda. Take the soda, I suppose. And another pair of boots and some snow pants. Okay, so the snow pants will be good because um, I could probably repair those before I leave the, the homestead here. And then um, that pair of boots, I'll probably break down for the leather. And if I need to repair the 
the other pair of boots, then I can use that leather to do that. So not too much in the way of loot down here. Um, that's a good pair of gloves. We'll take those for sure. Oh, I didn't see that one. I'll take it. Flare. Marine flares are, I think, really kind of intended for the Timberwolves, and we're not going anywhere near um, Bleak Inlet in this challenge, but still may come in use for light or whatever, those types of scenarios. Some cloth. Check over here. Again, I'm not going to do any reloading, so I don't need the sulfur. And um, some more tools. I'm going to pick up that pry bar. I know, know I've already got one, but I'll pick it up for now. And then what I'll kind of try and do is take inventory of everything I've got before I head out of the homestead altogether. I just realized my condition uh, went red again. And it's because I haven't managed to warm up at all, but looks like it's a little bit warmer up here in the house than it was downstairs, so... And I'm going to throw this down for a second and just, I guess I really didn't need to, but pass the time that way my condition gets back over um, the point where the screen turns all I would blurry. Just about anything right now. Um, so it's not as hard to look at. So let's drink the sodas first because um, they're pretty low condition and they fill both thirst and hunger. So we'll start with those if we can and save the water and then see what this offers me in terms of water. A little under half a gallon. I'll take it all. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start looting everything. Really at this point anything's gonna help, so I could use this. Not really looking for anything particular here in the kitchen. Um, obviously, um, let's grab that wood too. Obviously I need some more clothing items, um, for sure. I'm still not doing, I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of what I feel like I'll need to be outside for any extended period of time. Um, some coffee, I'll take some coffee, it might go in handy down the line. I see some syrup on the counter. Come back for it. And the soda. Okay, there's the syrup. And uh, we'll take this pot. Um, so if we need to make water down the line, we can definitely do, do that. And there's another one on the stove top I didn't notice, but I really only think we need the one. And yeah, a lantern. I think I can use this. Not a whole lot of fuel, but some. And it's getting pretty late. So um, I'm just gonna go upstairs. I know there's a couple things I didn't loot right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and run upstairs and maybe sleep for the night. Um, and then we'll, we'll go back down first and we'll finish looting and then we'll come up here and loot everything as well. So let me see how my Thirst and hunger is doing. Let's eat these beans. I'll kind of try and work through everything that's like really low condition first so that it doesn't kind of continue to get bad um, to the point where it's too risky to eat like these beans up here. Uh, I guess that's dog food, but that's almost to the point where I don't think it's worth worth risking. And that milk next to it too is a little questionable. Okay. Yeah, so it's dark now. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sleep for say ten hours. Um, I don't think that'll quite get us to daylight, but that'll get us uh, should get us through most of the night. Yeah. So let's pass couple hours here. 
and then we'll sleep for a little bit longer um, to get our fatigue full again. Um, and I need some oh, water. So dry. Yeah, and let me know. Let me get, let me know what you guys think of. Uh, I always try to drink the sodas first, just because they do fill both uh, both areas of hunger and thirst, as well as I feel like they might be um, heavy for what they are. Um, so I always try to knock those out first. But let me know what you guys think if that's if that's the best plan or um, if I'm doing that kind of backwards. If I should be drinking water first and saving the sodas. All right, let's just past just a few more minutes okay there we go all right so um we'll grab this since it's sitting right here but let's go downstairs first and finish looting that way we don't uh miss anything so i saw these gloves i know i picked up a pair of gloves already but um i'm gonna kind of collect everything and then before i leave um i'll kind of do an inventory of what i've got and uh just drop anything that that's not going to benefit me or is too heavy to take forward. Um, there's another book. Be a good fire starter. Um, let's see. I already hit the bathroom. I think really all I've got left here on the main floor is this uh, office. So let's just kind of do a do a loop through it. Get everything we need out on that. Give me a nice big coat. Nope, nothing. Well, this stuff will come in handy. And there's a soda. I already have some coffee. I don't think I'll need. I have enough for five cups. I really don't think I'll need um, any more than that. Certainly, so I'm not gonna pick up the rest of the coffee. Search the desk. Nothing. I think I hit everything in here. Yeah, okay. Let's go upstairs. See what's up there. Is there anything to search here? No. Okay. Uh, what's that? Oh, there's some papers under the couch over there. Alright, let's just start right here. Work our way, work our way around the second floor. So I really shouldn't have to start many fires at all. So I feel like this room was kind of a bust. Um, so we got the bathroom. I'll take all of the water. I know that's gonna make me super heavy because I'm already carrying, I think, over a half gallon. But we'll take it. We're gonna need a drink here soon anyway. Energy bar, I'll take it. And then what we got in here? Nothing. Okay, so that's kind of that side. Let's run over here. Another book. Yeah, I really need it. <laughs> I really need everything. I was gonna say I need a coat, but I could use some more pants, I could use another shirt. This will come in handy. I'll take those. Um, again, I'm going to kind of check through everything. I may end up just uh, scrapping them. And then I saw some matches. Anything hidden back there? Doesn't look like it. And then there's a firearm cleaning kit down there. Um, again, I don't think we'll find any kind of revolver or rifle, so I'm just going to leave it. And then I think that's everything in here. So let's run across to the room I slept in last night and we'll hit these guys on the way over. Nothing, struck out on both. Okay, so obviously I got the pea coat um, in here and I was just talking about needing a coat and I just recalled that I did pick up that pea coat. So that'll be uh, pretty decent for us. Um, I forgot that I had found that. Let's grab those, we'll compare them to what we've got. 
There's a hat. The first hat I think we found. And let's search this guy. Looks like this has been okay. a while. I think that's everything. I think I've looted everything there is to loot in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what we've got to this point. Got the one hat. Peacoats. A couple t-shirts. Put on the better one. And then got the snow pants as well, which I put in my hand slot. Seeing which of my socks are best. And then let's check the boots for what's... I feel like if we repair the trail boots, they should be better than those work boots. The work boots look better right now, but the condition's a lot higher. So I'll uh, I'll repair those before we leave. I think I found some sewing kits. Yeah, got a couple sewing kits. Um, I could use cloth though. So a couple different ways I can get that. Let me make sure. I think I'm wearing everything at this point that I'm interested in keeping. So I guess we can start with harvesting the stuff that the bear destroyed. Get some cloth to make repairs to some other other clothes. Um, the shoes, obviously, that'll get us some leather so that will allow us to fix some of those fix some of those trail boots. Hopefully, um, we'll tear up that other T-shirt. Actually, let's do this first, and maybe we'll just kind of spend uh, the rest of the day here doing this. Um, this is going to take me a while to repair some of the things too. And so we'll spend another night here at the homestead and then we'll move over to uh, wherever we decide to go next. Okay, just noticed my thirst was getting pretty, pretty low, so. t-shirt. I didn't actually accidentally repair it, did I? Instead of harvesting it, maybe I accidentally repaired it. Um, which is fine. I mean, it's whatever. We'll just, oops. We'll just harvest this one. the best pair we've got. I'm gonna keep, uh, I've got this new piece of, new pair of fleece mittens. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those just because they're in such good shape if I end up needing another pair, I've got them. So let's harvest the driving gloves for the leather. You don't come across leather as frequently as you do uh, cloth, so any little bit of leather we can find to possibly repair boots. Um, that we've got or may come across um, in one of the other locations, um, I think is worth it. Okay, did I tear up everything I don't need? Let's get that pair of socks. And then I think that's the last thing that I'm carrying that I really don't don't need in terms of clothing. Um, except for three pairs of boots, but let's fix this pair and then we'll see how it stacks up compared to the uh, work boots, and then we'll make our decision. Oops. Make our decision on which pair to keep. I think it's gonna be the trail boots, but I could be wrong. All right, so they're at 88%. No, the, uh, I really thought they'd be better than the work boots. They're, I mean, I'm just looking at the temperature mostly. I think that the, uh, the trail boots would be faster. Looks like they also resist the weather a little better. So I guess first things first, I'll drop the, the torn up pair. And uh, I think I'm gonna take the trail boots. I know that the work boots are warmer, but I think they're better in just about every other way. So we'll leave those. 
said I was going to keep both pairs of gloves. Um, let's repair the snow pants because those are um, probably the best pants we're going to find um, along the way. So, I mean, I'd like to find another pair of pants, but. Um, we're not going to find anything better than the snow pants, probably. Um, let's do one more. Try and get them as good as we can. Okay, they're at 85 now. I don't really want to spend the time to repair either of those two things, just because I'd like to replace them um, with something else. So I think I'm good. Um, so that's giving us a warmth bonus of 16 degrees. Not great, not awful. It's kind of mid-afternoon. Drink some water. Um, you know, one thing, how much, how much cloth do I have left? I've got three cloth. I'm going to go ahead and get some more. I want to make some bandages. Um, and the reason I want to have a good number of bandages on hand is I, I am uh, very prone to spraining ankles. Um, which, when you're being chased by a bear, you don't want to be slower than you need to be. So, um, I do think I, I should stock up on... Uh, at least bandages, and then um, obviously they'll come in handy as well if uh, I happen to get caught by the bear and attacked, or if I run into any random wolves or anything like that. Um, I think the bandages are going to be good to have on hand. So I'm going to make some more of those, and then Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Kind of along those same lines. If I come across any more uh, old man's beard, um, I should probably grab some of that as well, just in case I get bit and need it for the infection. So we've got seven bandages. How am I doing on weight? I'm a little bit heavy still, which um, probably comes down to the wood. Yeah, I've got like 12 pounds of wood. Um, actually, 13, almost 14 pounds of wood on me. Um, and almost 10 pounds of water. But I am going to eat some more before I leave, so that'll bring my overall weight down. Um, just trying to think, anything else I can do before night, nightfall? Let's, uh, let's take a look outside, see if we see the, the bear. I don't think there's really anything. Maybe uh, maybe I'll make a move to one of the barns. Um, probably the smaller barn that's closer, just because it's closer. Um, I don't think that there's really anything left in the farmstead that's keeping me here, other than the warmth. It's probably warmer than inside the barn. I thought maybe I heard him, but... I don't see anything. There's deer over there. That's usually a good sign. The problem with this area is that there's all these uh, mounds of snow that... Okay, there he is, yeah. I was going to say, he can be just like he is right now. Like, not too far from me. Um, and kind of obscured uh, by some of that snow, so... Um, kind of almost a, a dangerous area because he's got the high ground. Search this car. Yeah, he's got to be like right over there. So the barn that I was talking about getting to is right there, um, kind of center screen. Oh, but he's just 
picked up on me, so I should probably head back to the house. Yeah, I don't know, he must have get to the door. He must have seen me at some point somehow. I think uh, what I want to do, um, kind of the big picture, is uh, my next couple moves, um, some herbal tea, things like that might come in handy, um, is I want to get, I want to kind of go straight from the front of the, the farm here and uh, head down the driveway and across the road and then a little bit um, farther off the road on the other side is uh, a climbing wall um, that'll take us up to uh, um, I don't know if it's a, it's a radio tower it's kind of off in roughly that direction um, and there's a, a control hut up there which is another interior location that I can get to and, and kind of be safe um, indoors from for the bear so I think that that control hut is going to be kind of my next um, stop off point if you will um it's just just getting there it's gonna be the problem um there's a pretty big open space between you know here and there so some loose cloth i'll take so i'm gonna go upstairs and sleep for an hour and see if that gets the bear to kind of back off a little bit and then um I mean, I'm, I, I really think I'm going to try and get over to that barn um, and maybe try and sleep there for the night. That way, in the morning, I'm that much closer to to getting to the, the rock wall that I want to climb to get to the radio tower. Um, kind of cut that distance in half if I can at least kind of have that checkpoint of the barn to get to. I think really the only concern that I need to have with staying in that barn is if uh, the clothing that I have is warm enough at this point to, to sleep overnight there because it's probably colder than uh, it's definitely going to be colder in there than sleeping in one of the cozy beds in the farmhouse but I still think we risk it and looks like a storm's coming it's not bad enough yet to Pin me inside. It's really not all too far. Um, depending on where he is, I may be able to just beat him to it. I could always fire off one of these guys at him too, just to get where I'm going, but I really want to try to save the flares for. Um, emergencies. Like, I don't want to plan on going out here and using one. But if, I mean, if he charges me and I, that's my only option to, to get away, then yeah, I'll use one. I'm surprised he's not out here. Um, I say that, but he probably is and I just haven't seen him yet. He could be right over this hill. Rabbit actually did uh, scare me a little bit. Okay, there he is. He's charging. So, um, yeah, we'll make it inside of here long before he ever gets close. But let's check this really quick. You should be able to see anything on the floor. Okay, I don't see anything. Let's get to. The... Um, I lost track of him. Let's get inside. <laughs> kind of pushing my luck a little there. A little bit there, but that's okay. Gotta risk it sometimes. Alright. Um, here's another lantern. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one because it's got almost three times as much fuel. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna break this one down. Um, cause it'll give me the fuel from 
the other one and then I can put that fuel and probably top this thing off. So let's refuel. Yeah, and I'll have a little bit spare. Okay. Uh, so it got dark on us. Um, let's go ahead and break that lantern out. And we'll loot this place really quickly. And then we'll go to bed. And when we go to bed, I'll probably call it an episode here. Just because I think we're at a good good stopping point. Um, again, my next plan is to kind of, from here, exit, go back to the road that runs behind the barn. Um, kind of get across that road. And then... Uh, not too far, maybe a couple football fields or so away, there's a uh, a rope that I want to get to. And, and uh, if I can get to that rope, like I should be able to leave him behind a little bit um, if he's anywhere near me at that point, because he won't be able to obviously climb the rope. Perfect. Another hatchet. It's probably going to put me over... Yeah, I am pretty significantly overweight. Um, that's something I'll have to address before we leave here as well. Um, because I can't climb that rope if I'm too heavy, so. Um, if I had to pick what to leave behind at this point, um, I don't need two pry bars. I don't need the tools, probably. Um, I could repair this lantern a little bit if I wanted to before I drop that, but I think we'll be okay without doing that. Um, let's see what else. Um, I'll drink some water, that'll kind of keep bringing that down, but I think really the other things I need to consider dropping are probably some wood. Um, the fir, firewood... Um, I always like to have fir instead of cedar just because it burns for so much longer, um, but it's a lot heavier to carry around too, so... And I still need, what, about five pounds to get under? and. I guess really dropping that would get us there, but... Um, let's maybe split the difference. We'll drop some of both. We'll drop a piece of this, a piece of that, and... Okay, that gets us what we need. And if I have any spare... Uh, oops. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down the, the bedroll. Um, but if I have any spare, like, uh, weight open, um, carrying weight open before I leave here in the morning. Um, I may pick some of that wood back up just again, because like, I, I'm not going to be able, I don't think to stop in the open and, you know, chop up any limbs or anything that I see. So any of the wood that I can find that's loose already, I think is going to be beneficial. So, um, okay. So let me check. Yeah, we're going to be fine on the temperature of here. I was a little worried that I was going to be cold um, at night and not uh, this wouldn't be a good spot to sleep, but it looks like we're going to be all right. So let's go ahead and eat and drink um, before we go to sleep. Eat that guy, and then let's maybe eat those potato chips. Um, and then, yeah, that can of dog food that's 21%. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that. Um, come over here and do it. Um, it's not worth it. The milk is pretty suspect too, but um, it's 750 calories. I hate to, <clears throat> I hate to drop it. Um, if there's any chance that it could be good. Plus, it kind of works like the sodas do, where it fills up both your thirst and your hunger. So it's kind of a little more worth worth the risk than the dog food would have been, but. Um, it's also in a little bit better condition than, than that dog food was, so. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. I'm um, basically, um, I'm probably going to have to pass a little bit of time and then sleep um, just to get uh, woken up at, at kind of dawn with uh, a full fatigue meter. Um, and my condition should recover overnight as well. Um, so I should be perfectly healthy in the morning, and then we'll kind of go about making our next move um, to that, that rope I mentioned before. So that's my plan. Um, we'll plan to pick up uh, basically right here on the next day in, in episode two. So um, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in to the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, definitely please uh, please please hit the uh, like and subscribe uh, uh, button on the channel. Um, definitely helps me out a lot, especially as I try to get this, uh, this channel started. So, 
Um, thanks again, everyone. We'll uh, catch up next time.